Everyone loves to save money. And we're here to help you play the best games at the lowest possible price. Hi, I'm Marky. And I'm Freddy. And with that being said, let's get started. The first game we have for this week is Crash Bandicoot 4. And this time the retailer that we found it at is Gamefly. Yes, Gamefly. It's just not a company to rent games, but also has sales, and it's actually a great one. Crash Bandicoot is for $24.99 dropping from its regular price of $50. Yes, a franchise that I think a lot of us were discounting and never seeing a, a true sequel. There were a lot of spin-off games in the past year, and finally there's a new one. Made by the wonderful people over at Toys for Bob, it actually continues the story from Crash Bandicoot 3 all the way back from the original PlayStation. There's a lot to explore because you get to not only play as Crash, but as Crash's sister, Coco, who plays exactly the same, but you have a bunch of other characters, even playing as the bad guy, Dr. Cortex. You even get a alternate version of Tana and Dingo Dial. If those names sound wacky, it's because they are, and you'll know when you see them. And the game, of course, keeps that old platforming style alive, both with side-to-side -side levels, front-to-back levels, and of course, the Crash tra uh, tradition of running away facing the camera from something big that's trying to get you. Of course, Crash Bandicoot is never wanting for collectibles. You've got all kinds of gems, you've got all kinds of challenges, you've got all kinds of Wumpa Fruit to collect, and alternate side paths too that you can explore to get even more goodies. The game is known to get progressively difficult as Crash Bandicoot games are, but it's nothing too worrisome. The game is very, very accessible and very good at teaching you how to handle what moves Crash can do so that you can explore these problems and you even get to explore the abilities of the different masks that you'll be finding that allow you to do even crazier things, but those are level specific. But either way, there's a lot to explore and it's definitely worth it at that price. I would like to mention that you don't need to play any previous Crash Bandicoot game to start playing this one, you can just jump into this one. But of course, if we play the previous one, you'll enjoy this one more because you'll understand a little bit about each character and you'll appreciate that finally we got the choice to play with a lot of the characters that we've seen them in just cutscenes before. The game is very fun, but it definitely, as Marky said, you will die a dozen of times. I'm not a good at platformer, I would say like, I played all previous Crash Bandicoot before, but I was still, I was dying maybe around 20 to 25 times each, each level. I'm very embarrassed about this number. Marky, I have a question for you. How many times did you die in each level? Uh, I think it's probably best I don't say. I'm going to keep it in an extremely high number though, to be safe. But I did want to say this though, that while you're probably going to be wanting to complete some of the levels in order to earn some of the costumes that are in the game, you'll notice that there are a quite a few gems that you are able to collect and it may feel like you need to collect all of one in all of the gems rather in a single level and I'm here to state that that's not necessarily true each level has a remixed version that allows you to play the same level but with like a big visual twist and each one is special so it's worth exploring but those have their own sets of gems and those can be combined in order to earn the costume so you can earn a total of maybe 12 gems in one level but if the costume just needs you to collect seven, you don't need to collect all in one. You could split it between the two. So that way you don't need to force yourself to do something that you're not really proficient at or just something that just frustrates you too much. You have plenty of options when it comes to unlocking stuff that you care for. The next game we have is also at Gamefly and this time we chose Super Mario 3D World for $34.99, dropping all the way from its regular price of $60. Yes, after a long time coming, a Mario game is on sale. That isn't Mario and Rabbids, so that's an accomplishment in and of itself. And it's a great one at that. Super Mario 3D World, including Bowser's Fury for the Switch, is of course a Wii U game that was moved over to the Switch in order to get to a wider audience. Because it's a fantastic game, it's a 3D styled game that has a bit more of the structure of the 2D Mario games. It even brought an old old mechanic from Super Mario Bros. 2 all the way back on the NES, which is characters with different characteristics, but we can cover a little bit more of that later. But the big draw, aside from playing a fantastic 3D game that has plenty of collectibles and plenty of interesting levels and great music to top it off, it includes an entirely different side game, Bowser's Fury, that explores an alternate story of why Bowser is so huge, covered in gunk, and is attacking everything in sight. You get to explore an open world map with different levels and challenges, but with the Mario 3D world 
mechanics. And it's definitely worth it on its own. It's not the longest thing, but it's definitely worth your time, especially if you've enjoyed Mario Odyssey, and especially if you enjoy open world Mario as much as I do. And while we're on the subject, Freddy, I know that you've been actually pretty excited for the game, uh, considering that you missed it on the Wii U, but now it's available here on the Switch. Um, it's great to see that you're finally able to give this great game a shot. Yeah, that's right. I was very excited when they announced the game. Anyway, here's a couple of tips for you. It's important to remember that each character has its own strengths and weaknesses, so make sure you're choosing the right one that suits you well and suits the level well. Also, if you collect a power-up that's different from the one you have, your old one will be still stored and can be brought up with the minus button. My, f my last tips and final one, but also it's still a very important one, a green shell can be jumped on and if you aim it right, you can hit multiple enemies and you can get ups that way. But otherwise, if you're not at aiming like me, <laughs> you can jump on the shell many times and also get up th this way. Ah, looks like we've reached that point again where we would love to ask you if you've been enjoying the video so far, please click the like button if possible and maybe while you're at it hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notifications so we can keep you up to date on more deals through our youtube stories or our gaming input twitter as well yes subscribing will help our channel grow and also will help you get the deals before they expire and ultimately our goal is to build a community of gamers who are like us have a passion for games but don't want to break the bank all right enough talking and let's get back to the deal the next game we have is this time is at Amazon and GameStop. Both have Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for $43.99 dropping all the way from its regular price of $60. Mario's not the only one going on discount. We even have Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And like Mario 3D World, this was a Wii U title that has now been given the Switch treatment. And adding a new funky mode, as the meme loves to tell us, you'll see it in the top right corner on the game, that's for sure. And it allows you to play a fifth character, Funky Kong, which is a little bit more of an accessible mode, but we'll get into a few of those tips later to help you guys out. Because I did want to state that while this is an exciting platformer that does bring it back to the old Donkey Kong Country days on the Super Nintendo, like a lot of those older games, it does have a little bit more of that scaling difficulty, but you are going to be enthralled the entire way through. And I want to point out specifically the accomplishment of the music by David Weiss who was doing the music for the old Donkey Kong Country games. A fantastic composer and you can definitely hear a lot of his magic and his passion in each of these songs. And those songs are going to be important. You're going to be hearing them as you attempt these levels, sometimes multiple. And you get to see all the beautiful visuals they throw. It's a great jungle theme. While it is jungle and some ice, they cover a lot of different ground and even visual styles too. And that soundtrack is going to be carrying you throughout it all. You can play with one player, of course, and collect partners, or you can play with up to two players to kind of tackle puzzles yourself. You have that option at any point. And at a low price, rather than spending 60 bucks, you can get it for a little bit lower. Now we've been covering a lot of platformers here on the Switch, and who better to give you tips than the guy who said he wasn't very strong at platformers? And with that, I'm gonna bring it over to my man Freddy over here. <laughs> Yes, Marky, I know you're picking up on me with these platformers. I love to play them, but I know, I have to admit, I'm not really good. But I enjoy playing them and I don't mind dying a lot. My first tip for you when you play is that I wouldn't worry too much about trying to get all the collectibles in one go on a level. More often than not, you'll find an alternate path that you missed, but if it's too late to change the path you're on, just play the level again and you will know which path you can take to get it. Also learn how to roll jump. When you roll, you'll get a slight burst of speed. Jump in the middle of a roll and you'll be able to clear a wider distance, allowing you to sail past enemies or land on a tricky platform. Listen to the guy who doesn't do in platformers. These tricks really help me and I'm sure it will help you. Remember, if you're buying the game from Amazon, you can use Amazon credit card for extra 5% discount. However, if you're buying from GameStop, remember to use your Pro Membership $5 monthly coupon. You can apply it on top of the sale price and that will drop the game $5 extra. The next game we have this time is digital on Nintendo eShop and this game is Star Wars Episode 1 Racer for $7.49. Anybody remember the Nintendo 64? Well, Nintendo certainly did because they brought this old gem back. And being a Star Wars fan myself, I never really messed with this one all this much, but it became a somewhat cult classic amongst all the other Star Wars games out there, and it's actually really exciting to see it on a modern platform, believe it or not. 
Of course, there's nothing visually stunning about this. This was an old Nintendo 64 game, and it definitely looks the part. But I think where it shines is, of course, is the racing controls. And, of course, while Episode 1, people can debate all they want about the movie's quality, the pod racing I always thought was a really cool aspect. And having it condensed into a racing game is, I think, a perfect fit. Hey, you don't need it for Star Wars lore, you just need it for a good time. And there's a lot of racers to pick from, and actually a lot of courses to pick from as well. You get to explore different turns, you get to find out ways, and it almost plays out like you would hope it would from seeing the first movie. And for my trusty tips, I turn to Freddy. What can I do to help me get better at pod racing? Definitely, Mark, I got a couple tips. Uh, definitely remember that even though the pod racers are floating and not touching the floor, there's still traction in the game. So make sure to pay attention with that. Whenever you increase your speed, there is going to be more traction and this way you need to pay more attention to the turns. And speaking about turns, I highly recommend upgrading them because it will make your life a lot easier because the games and the maps in general has a lot of sharpness. So make sure you do the upgrade and avoid this problem. I know this might be sound like a lot of tips, but when you start playing the game, you'll immediately pick up on the rhythm. But I'm just giving you these tips so you can save time and immediately be on the spot and know what to do from the very first moment. Got a few honorable mentions for you, and I've got another major game down. It's Super Mario Odyssey at all retailers, except Best Buy, sorry Best Buy, down to 40 49 And of course, the seminal 3D platformer, fantastic game to explore. I won't go into de detail too much, but definitely give this one a shot if you haven't already and you own a Switch. And another deal I have over for you is at the eShop, and this is for Trine 4. And we love mentioning the Trine games over here on the Switch channel especially. And you get to explore the fourth entry all the way down to just $4.99. These games are fantastic in puzzle slash platforming in a medieval fantasy setting with a really enriching story too. And while I would like to recommend you start from the beginning, Trine 4 is of course a great game in its own right, being the pinnacle of the gameplay. And at 5 bucks, no wrong way to go about it. And trust me, I don't mean to bag on Freddy when it comes to platformers, but I will do you one better and I will bring you over into a field that he shines in, and that's deals. And we actually got a few over here, so Freddy, please take it away. <laughs> yes, Marky, I, I like to play games uh, without paying a lot of money, and that's what I'm trying to help everyone do the same. Super Mario Odyssey at $40 is a great deal. First, because as, my, as I mentioned before, you can apply the $5 coupon at GameStop and bring it down to $35. The other way, uh, which is better, let's say you finish the game in a week or two, GameStop still have the trade value credit uh, in store for $30. And if you don't wanna get the store credit, they can give you $24 cash. So this way you're playing the game at maybe less than $10 out of pocket, even better. GameStop has 20% extra bonus trade-in credit if you trade the game toward a newly released game. And we have a big one coming soon. I personally, this is how I do it. I will get the game on a, on a deal like Mario Odyssey for $40. I'll play it, finish it, take my time. And whenever I go trade it to GameStop, I always choose store credit instead of cash. This way I can take advantage of the extra 20 or 30% bonus. Like now, it's for $30 store credit. With the bonus that you can get, if you pre-order Metroid Dread, you can get around $40 back in store credit, and this will bring down the price of a newly released Metroid Dread to $20 out of pocket. So these are the kind of deals that I always try to bring in. Let me know in the comments if you if you like me to expand on that or you like more explanation, I'll be more than happy to do so. Another deal that we have for people who listen to me and bought GameStop gift card from Amazon last week, you should have received from Amazon uh, $7 and a half promotion credit and you can use toward any game that you want and this is a good time to use it I personally bought that gift card twice from two different promos. I mentioned them in previous video I think the Nintendo switch and the Xbox PlayStation videos I mentioned it in all of those so now I have $15 in credit ready to be used from Amazon on top of the 5% that I constantly get from using credit card from Amazon. So that will bring the deals even better for Mario Odyssey and this is a good time for me, for example, to use it on such a game and that's why I'm trying to mention it for you guys because you could have saved a lot of money. We hope you enjoyed the video for this week. That's right. And of course, our question we want to pose to you guys, we've been changing up our format a little bit here, but we want to hear from you guys. 
do we like covering a couple of games we want to go into details about them or do you want us to cover a lot of games with very little details but we still want to keep you in on more sales any opinion at all feel free to shout it out down below thank you and be sure to check our channel next week for more deals if you got other consoles like playstation and xbox we also got separate videos for those so make sure you check them out see you next week thank you for watching